Hi, so welcome to another la lazy, edited, not fun or entertaining review video. Now, a game called Battlefield 5 is coming out this year. Now, I understand about the drama and all that. Come on, it's the internet. We see everything we do. But, for in time for that, and also for a celebration of when the open beta comes out in September, I wanted to go ahead, a couple of months ago, I played Battlefield 3. What do I think about it? Here's the intro. Before I actually say anything else about the game, I just want to let you know that this game can be playable on the Xbox One, such as many Battlefield ones, apart from the ones that have been more mastered to the Xbox One, because, well, you know. So, yeah, so please don't have any worries if you don't think this is, you can't, uh, maybe you think you can't play on the Xbox One, no, you can. Now, okay, so what do I actually think of the game? Or do I even know the storyline? Well, how I see these type of games is that it's the same war scenario storyline. I don't pick up on the names. In fact, it's been quite a long time since I've played this. And in fact, I have called two Call of Duty games, which the only two that are weighted Peggy 16 for the Xbox One, you can probably search that up and know. I've come, I, with Call of Duty Ghosts, I completed that one, to be honest, I did enjoy it, my first time playing a Call of Duty game then, and at the moment I'm piling up stuff on Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Remastered, I'm saying having a blast with that. But, with this, I did not. With this game, it's a trial and error thing, and to be honest, to this day, I still think that this has not aged well. Many of you will say, hey, this is the definite one, or the oldies are the definite ones. Well, the thing is, is that not everyone finds the old ones good. I just wanted to try it out. And hopefully, DICE will have improved on themselves over the years. Because, well, to see what DICE can do with Star Wars Battlefront and Battlefront 2, and hoping that Battlefield 5 will be an improvement and no, I don't have any plans to go into Battlefield 1 anytime soon because I want to complete some of the other games I've got at the moment. So yeah. What do I give this game? Well the thing is after trial and now I'm deleting it off my Xbox One and this either going to the exchange shop or I don't know being destroyed out of pure frustration, this game gets up. 5 out of 10, the lowest score weighting I've possibly ever done for a game. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you disagree with me, then tell me, do you have to, like, I don't know, play this game with trial and error? Because I'm pretty sure that most games like this shouldn't be like that. Like. Sometimes you forget who is the good side and who is the bad side and you end up mistakenly killing one of your teammates who are also AI then you have to restart it because you don't want it to be awkward. <sighs> anyway, peace guys. See ya.